spoke with the New York City Mayor Eric Adams this afternoon, and he's just very concerned, as he said in media appearances in recent days, that the White House is not doing enough uh, to prepare for a new uh, surge of migrants, many of whom are going to end up in cities like Chicago, New York, here in D.C. Um, and it, as you know, it's not just uh, DeSantis and Abbott uh, sending buses of migrants to these cities. It was, it's Jared Polis, a Democrat um, in Colorado as well. So what do you have to say to those concerns from Mayor Adams? Look, here's what I would say, and I said it, I answered this question um, with one of your colleagues, which is we believe, and we have seen the numbers and the data that the board enforcement measures have dramatically reduced the number of people attempting uh, to uh, enter the country unlawfully. And I just mentioned the parolee program that was extended to Cuba, Nicaragua, and Haiti, and how we've seen those numbers come down by 89 percent. Uh, and so that's because of the measures that the president has put forth. Uh, and so, look, we're going to continue to do the work. I just mentioned as well, we're going to see the lowest, we're on track to see the lowest levels uh, of monthly border encounters since February 2021. Why is that? It's because of the work that this president has done, the tool, using the tools, using what he's able to do uh, from the federal uh, from the federal government, from where he sits. Uh, look, you know, when the president walked in, the very first piece of legislation that he put forth was an immigration reform bill. That's how seriously he took this. That's how important it was for him to secure the border and deal with an, an uh, illegal migration. And what he has asked for is to have Congress act. Uh, and I know you mentioned uh, 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 a couple of uh, Repub uh, Democrats, but the vast majority of folks who have been pushing back against this have been Republicans. We've seen very, very, in a stark way, uh, the political stunts that they have taken. So look, he's willing to work on this. He has said this many times. He's willing to work in a bipartisan way to get this done. But in the meantime, he's going to take actions, as we've seen, and those actions are actually working. And so that's what I, that's how I would answer your question. Are you encouraged at all by uh, the Tillis cinema talks on the Hill? Oh, we are, yes, we are encouraged by those conversations. This is what we've been asking, right? We've been asking for Congress to, uh, to take action, to really take this in a serious way. And so we welcome that. We welcome conversations that are currently happening on dealing with immigration reform in a real way. Okay, Courtney. Thanks.